Hey Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you dealing with a Leo romantically. It's a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. It is also a general reading. It may or may not resonate. You are welcome to take what works and leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do offer those through my Etsy shop. They are not video readings, they are written readings. If you're interested in that, you can check out what I've got available. The link to Etsy is just in the description box below this video. All right, let's see what's coming toward Leo right now in love. First card out is the Nine of Wands. Some of you are gonna feel like you've been going through a bit of a tough time in your love life right now. Almost that feeling as if you've been in battle, you've overcome some obstacles, maybe you're experiencing some challenges right now. I think there's been some good moments, but there's been some tough moments. Some of you could definitely find yourself struggling within a romantic relationship at the moment, and you could be wondering, do I keep fighting for this? Do I give up? Do I move on? So I do see that there is some challenges coming up here when it comes to love. Tell me more about what is coming toward Leo right now. The Four of Wands, okay. So even though you could be experiencing challenges within a relationship, what I see here, Leo, is that there is a commitment between the two of you to want to try to work this out. Some of you might be married to this person and so if there's challenges, you're not wanting to just walk away. You're married, you're committed, you've built a life together and you don't wanna just give up on that easily. And I also feel like you're dealing with somebody who's saying to you, I don't wanna give up on our marriage, I don't wanna give up on our connection, let's fight for this, let's persevere and let's see if we can move forward. Let's get one more card about what is coming toward Leo right now. And then we've got the Three of Wands, okay. I think this is positive Leo. I'm gonna say here, for those of you who are currently experiencing some sort of struggle between you and your person, I feel hopeful that things are going to move forward. I do think that if you're connecting with the energy right now, there's definitely been challenges. There's maybe been some moments of doubt. There's been some frustration. So there's been some tough energy here between you and your person as you try to navigate through a situation that's been hard on both of you. The Nine of Wands could also be that life has just been kind of tough. You've had obstacles thrown in your path. There's been stress. There's been tough things happening. But I do get the sense here that this card or these cards represent two people who are still wanting to fight for a connection. So if you're watching this right now and maybe you've been struggling with your person and you're wondering, like, do they still want to fight for this? I think that they do. And I feel like you also are embodying that energy as well, Leo. And it looks like if you're able to be resilient and to overcome whatever the challenges are, you're moving toward that four of wands and the three of wands. And the four of wands is about commitment, stability, building a life with somebody, <clears throat> excuse me. The three of wands is about your future, the potential of the relationship, dreaming, setting goals together, and really starting to move towards what you want. So I do think that this is a bit of a hopeful energy, uh, hopefully, <laughs> if you're watching this reading. I also wanna note all three of the cards that I pulled for you are fire energy. So you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign romantically, another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But let's dig into this a little bit more. So I wanna find out a bit more about what is going on for your person. So we're gonna take a look at them, Leo, their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then I'm gonna look at the same thing for you. <laughs> That's my cat in the background. Um, I'm gonna look at the same thing for you, Leo, and then we're gonna look at the potential outcome. So let's find out a little bit more about this person who Leo is involved with right now. <laughs> more fire energy. There we go. Like I said, some of you are, my cat's excited. Okay, my cat's very excited. Yes, Fiona. <laughs> it's my cat, you guys. Um, more fire energy, right? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm gonna say there's a very strong connection, very strong attraction, a magnetic energy that pulls you and this person together. Obviously, like, you're very attracted to each other, let's just say that. I also feel like the Nine of Wands is indicating that your person wants to move forward if there has been struggle, they're feeling motivated to get unstuck. Tell me more about this person, please. Ooh, my goodness, uh-oh, uh-oh, Leo. Okay, so your person's energy is showing up with the Seven of Swords. 
this is a tough energy. Now I'm starting to kind of understand where the struggle could be coming from between you and your person, okay? So what is the Seven of Swords? This is often called the thief of the tarot. It can represent somebody not being honest, somebody lying. And I'm a little bit nervous whenever I get the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords together, because sometimes I feel like this can indicate the energy of a person who has cheated or has done something that's not right. So for example, you know, maybe you found out that your person was texting with somebody and the text messages were feeling a little bit flirty and a little bit inappropriate and you're like you shouldn't be doing that and so there's something here where I do think your person has done something to hurt you Leo that's probably why the first card was the nine of wands this is where we're starting to get into more details about why the two of you have been struggling so I do think they haven't been honest about something that was going on but my sense is that you found out about whatever the situation is Tell me more, please, about this person's energy. Temperance, Sagittarian energy, more fire energy. I think that they're trying to bring things into balance, Leo. They're trying to fix a situation where something has become broken between the two of you. They've done something here that they know was wrong. And I think they're saying to you, like, can you be patient with me, Leo? Let's try and fix this. Let's try and move forward. And let's try and deal with this issue that has come up. And so there is a sense of them trying to make things right. Tell me what this person is feeling, please. The hanged man, but they're feeling stuck, right? My, my sense here, Leo, is... <clears throat> This person messed up with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I think that they are trying to fix things or they've even been trying to fix things already, but they might not be sure what's the best way to go about it. They might not know how to make this right. And I feel like emotionally they're feeling very stuck right now. They're trying to look at things from different perspectives. They're trying to figure out how do the two of you get unstuck but I do think they're at a bit of a loss of how to deal with this situation emotionally. Okay, what is this? <laughs> but jumping out is the Hierophant. So again, it's like this person is committed to you. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say here, Leo, I'm getting a little bit of energy of somebody who is not super great with emotions, somebody who's not really good at expressing their emotions, sharing their feelings at points they might feel overwhelmed i do get a bit of energy of somebody where when things get serious between the two of you it might kind of freak them out a little bit and they might pull back because when i'm looking at their energy there's no cups energy yet and i'm just feeling like there's somebody for you here who's not the best at expressing their feelings and so when you guys have challenges it's hard to resolve the challenges because they might not be clear about their feelings or they might not be good at expressing their feelings. Even though they care for you, I think that, I don't know, I think they mess up sometimes. And I'm also looking at the Seven of Swords and for some of you, maybe it's not cheating, maybe it's just that this person has done something to sabotage the connection and now they realize that they've messed up and they wanna fix it, but they don't really know how to do that. Tell me more about what this person is feeling, please. The chariot, okay? So they're wanting to move forward. There is a sense of willpower and determination. It's kind of a weird contrasting energy to have the hanged man and the chariot. It tells me that they're torn. It tells me that there's conflicting emotions here. Part of them wants to fix it but doesn't know how, and then part of them just wants to like charge forward and kind of forget like nothing ever happened. And so they might feel a little bit inconsistent to you, Leo, in terms of how they're showing up emotionally. And that could be what's also leading to challenges because you might be trying to figure out how they feel. And on the one hand, they're telling you that they love you and they want commitment. But on the other hand, you're feeling a bit of this push and pull between the hanged man and the chariot where it's like, sometimes they're really coming towards you and then other times they're pulling back and not really expressing how they feel. And that's a challenge because if they've hurt you and they've done something that needs to be repaired, I feel like there needs to be an emotional conversation here. And they're just, it just feels like there's a little bit of an immaturity in how they're dealing with this. Tell me more. Uh, let's look at what actions they're taking, please. The lovers, they're trying to prove their love for you, Leo. 
like I said, um, in my mind, I'm like, this person is so silly. <laughs> That's what's coming to mind. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather today, you guys. Um, like what's coming to mind is that this person is so silly because they love you, but I think they've done something really silly to push you away. Like I said, I don't think it's like necessary necessarily as severe as like full on cheating, but I do think that they've done something that's kind of sabotaged or jeopardized the connection between the two of you. And I feel like it comes from a self-sabotaging tendency within them. And so what they're doing is they're messing with a really good thing between the two of you. And you're like, why are you doing that? And it's weird because I can see that they love you and are committed to you. But I also feel like this is somebody who has maybe had a bit of a history of sabotaging within relationships. Tell me what actions this person is taking. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, the tower. I don't know. I don't know, Leo. This is interesting. I mean, the tower is a massive, massive shakeup. And so whatever actions they're taking towards you right now, it is really, really going to shake things up. Uh, we're gonna see what card follows the tower. I always say to you, what comes next, right? What comes after this big shakeup? Is it something positive? Is it something negative? We're gonna look at that. But I do see that your person is going to be doing something here that really shakes things up between the two of you. So let's see what comes after the tower, please. What comes after the tower? The Eight of Swords, interesting. I don't know. I mean, the Eight of Swords is a card of feeling trapped and feeling restricted. It's a card about negative thoughts. I often say that the Eight of Swords is when we think negative things. We might think, I'm not lovable, I'm not worthy, I can never be with somebody. And then we get up in our head and it's almost like it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, which is kind of what I've been saying with your person where I'm like, I see that they're committed to you, but I also see that they're sabotaging things between the two of you right now. I mean, the Eight of Swords following the Tower could be that they're trying to free themselves from these self-sabotaging tendencies. <clears throat> but I also feel like this person is maybe a little bit of a flight risk as well, like somebody who kind of freaks out when things get serious. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, please, for Leo's person. The Queen of Wands. Okay, more, more fire energy because we're getting all the fire energy in your reading. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. They could be making you a peace offering. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. And then the Justice. The clarification is actually quite nice. Okay, so here's the thing. This, this is actually good, you guys. I think this is a positive indicator. So let's look at the clarification. These are all really nice cards, by the way. All right. Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So I feel like what's happening is that your person is realizing that they have really messed things up. And what they're doing is they're taking action in order to prove that they actually want you and they are committed to you. I feel like the justice card showing up is actually a really good indicator that they're going to try and make amends for any sort of injustice that they've caused to you. And I think they're even going to be saying to you like, look, Leo, this is, <clears throat> there we go. This is not an excuse for my behavior because I've, you know, not been great recently but I want to explain where I was coming from. I was really just not my best self. I was sabotaging. And again, I think they're going to be saying to you, like, I'm not trying to excuse my behavior, but I think I kind of freaked out a little bit and I pushed you away. And I am so, so sorry that I did that because the reality is that I actually love you, Leo, right? And so I think they're going to be giving you an explanation about why they've kind of been blowing things up in your relationship and why they've been messing things around. And they're going to be saying like, look, it's just because I am not, I'm not always my best. And sometimes when things get serious, I freak out and I'm trying to be better because I don't want to lose you. And I'm really sorry for the pain that I caused you. Will you forgive me? Okay. And so I think that they're going to be coming forward. And I almost feel like the tower energy is a big thing for them as well, because maybe in the past, if they've self-sabotaged in relationships, they've not really realized it. But now I also feel like at this moment, the tower could be them 
breaking down old structures that didn't work for them. And when I say that in the context of love, it's like breaking down old patterns of self-sabotage, negative ways of thinking, negative ways of dealing with things that no longer serve them. And that's what I feel that they are disconnecting from here, okay? So let's look at you, Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Six of Cups, yeah. There's a lot of history between you and this person. <coughs> Excuse me, okay? There's a lot of history, Leo. And so, and a lot of memories between the two of you. So I think you're, uh, you're not wanting to just like walk away from this connection that you have here. Tell me more, please, about Leo, the hermit, but you're also doing some soul searching because like we've seen here, it's possible that your person has hurt you, pushed you away. You're having trouble understanding it. And so you're trying to figure out with this hermit energy, what do I do with this situation? Like, what is the next step for me? Tell me more about Leo. And then the Six of Pentacles, yeah. You're basically looking at this and you're like, can we bring this situation into balance? Can we find a way to fix this? The Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity within a relationship. It's about you giving to the relationship and your person giving to the relationship. And what's coming to mind is that you need to see your person <laughs> stepping it up and so you need to see them really stepping it up and taking responsibility for their behavior. And if they did hurt you, you need to see them <clears throat> making amends for that and saying sorry. What is Leo feeling? The death card. Something needs to change and transform. I think you're pretty frustrated by this. And I do think there's part of you emotionally where you're like, look, if things don't get better between the two of us, I might walk away like I can't be in this situation with somebody who's constantly sabotaging and pushing me away from them. But I also feel like there's going to be something happening right now that's going to be emotionally transformative when it comes to this connection. It's like the old way of relating needs to end so that a new way of relating can come in. Tell me more about what Leo is feeling. Two of Cups. I mean, you're looking for love and partnership. You're looking for an equal who can show up and give to you and provide and love you. And you're giving all that stuff back to them as well. But you want that partnership. You want somebody who can show up for you in that way. And emotionally, that's what you're you're ready for that. Whether this person can give it to you or not, that's what you're ultimately looking for, right? What else? And then the four of cups. Yeah. So this is showing up in your emotions. And so again, there's a sorry guys i really am kind of under the weather <laughs> bear with me um <clears throat> so here's the thing with the death card the two of cups and the four of cups showing up in your emotions i do feel like emotionally you're protecting yourself here you're withdrawing the four of cups is about pulling back our energy you can literally see that in the imagery of the card and you're kind of pulling back because you're not sure what this person wants and where things are going and so I can see that you've got feelings for them, but you're also not scared to disconnect if this person cannot give you what you need emotionally. And I've got to say here, Leo, if you go back, like if you rewind this video and you look at your person's energy, I'm looking at it right now, there is not one card showing up in your person's energy. And what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 12 cards, okay? I pulled 12 cards for your person. Not one of those cards is a cup, okay? And the cup's energy within the tarot represents emotion. And it's kind of funny because when I was about halfway through looking at your person's energy, I was like, I think the issue here is something about an emotional disconnect and their inability to express their feelings and tell you what they want and how they're feeling and be emotional and connect. And so it's interesting because then we look at you <clears throat> and so far for you, I've pulled six cards and three of them are cups. It's a very big difference when we're looking at the contrast between the two of you. So this is telling me, Leo, like you're very in tune with your emotions. You're very connected. But the challenge is that even though, like, I just want to be clear, I can see that your person loves you. I just don't think that they're the best at expressing it. And I think they do things to self-sabotage. And it's hard because they do love you. They've just got to find a way to be able to express that because you feel that way about them. 
but you need a partner who can step it up and do that, okay? <clears throat> um, what actions are Leo taking? What actions? Page of Swords. You're going to try and talk to them about what's going on. You're going to try to have a conversation. Tell me what actions Leo's taking. <laughs> King of Wands, this is you. This is you just being in your power, <laughs> um, you know, clearly expressing what you want, confidently expressing what you want. What other actions are Leo taking right now? And then the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're trying to wrap up this negative cycle. I think there is. OK, I think there's a way forward. So what I mean by that, Leo, is whatever happened between you and your person, however they hurt you. I don't feel like it's a situation where you're like, that's it. I'm completely done. I feel like whatever your person did to hurt you, there is a way for them to fix it. And I think that you're looking at it and you're like, if they do this, then I can move forward. If they do this, then I can forgive them. Like my sense is that whatever happened, you do feel like it's fixable, but your person is going to have to step up and take action to give an apology and give some sort of closure about that situation, okay? Um, so moment of truth here, what is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome in this situation? So nine of pentacles, that's an interesting one. We're gonna have to pull some more cards. The nine of pentacles is about being self-sufficient, independent. Ultimately, it's about having high standards. So it's good because we're dealing with a bit of a challenging energy with your person. I feel like you have high standards right now, Leo. So either this person can step it up, but if not, I also think that you will have no problem walking away if they can't step it up. Uh, what else is happening for the potential outcome here? Oh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the sun, happiness. This is your energy, by the way, Leo. Uh, so you're gonna be happy. Let's get one more. And then the world, okay. All right, you guys. Um, this is actually really positive energy. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so sorry, guys. Um, what I can see here in the outcome is that you're going to be happy with how things work out. Okay. You feel good about who you are. You know what you want and you know what you deserve. The question here is going to be, can this person meet those standards? Okay. I do see you're gonna be happy here with the sun energy. And I do feel like there's a sense of completion with the world. It's like whatever negativity has been going on here, it does look like that's gonna be closing out so that you can move forward. And I will say, if you go back to the very start of your reading, we did have the four of wands and the three of wands. And I was like, that makes me feel positive that there is a way forward here. And so I think there is a way to fix this. And I do think your person is going to try. And if they're able to step it up in the way that you need, I see that there is potential happiness. But like I said, Leo, I really feel like this is going to be dependent on your person's ability to tap into their emotions. Because that's the only thing that makes me like slightly nervous. Like I see your person is motivated to fix this, but I didn't see any of that cups energy. And so I feel like that's what they're going to need to address. Like that's the, <laughs> that's the advice for them, even though they're not watching this. You know what I mean? Like I feel the advice for them is they're going to have to find a way to tap into their emotions. If they're able to do that, I feel like that's the way forward. Now, like I said, for you, <clears throat> there was some really nice cups energy, nice emotional energy maybe by virtue of you tapping into your emotions that will encourage them to do the same and so you're just going to have to see how it plays out because the outcome here could also suggest that if they cannot step it up like i said earlier in your reading the nine of pentacles could be you deciding to just walk away and realizing you could be happier somewhere else so i think that this outcome suggests both possibilities here and it's really going to be dependent on your person's ability to emotionally show up and get into their feelings, apologize, and really open up their heart to you, okay? So it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be determined by them and how they show up. So that's what I see going on for you right now, Leo, okay? 
Uh, if you resonated with this reading, please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you would like to get a personal reading, like I said, I offer those through Etsy. They're not video readings, they are written readings. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness, my lovely lions, and we'll talk soon. Bye, Leo.